Good morning girls. Welcome to this lecture of real analysis. Today I discuss one corollary which is related with my previous video lecture. And that corollary is if a refinement P star of P contains P points more than P and mod F of X less than equal to K for all X which belongs to closed interval AB that means a function is bounded. Then LPF less than equal to LP star F less than equal to LPF plus 2 P K mu and UKF greater than equal to UP star F greater than equal to UPF minus 2 P K mu. Here P star be a refinement. Here P star be a refinement of P and P star contains only one point more than P. Again, if we have 10 number of points in P, then P star has 11 number of points. And suppose that point is theta, which belongs to the closed interval xi minus 1 xi. Now, m1, m2, mi. m1 is the infimum of this interval, m2 is the infimum of this interval, and mi is the infimum of this interval. Since mi is the infimum of this interval and these two intervals are basically sub-interval of this interval. So mi less than equal to m1 and mi less than equal to m2. Now lp star f minus lpf basically focused on these three intervals and the value of lp star f minus lpf is equal to m1 minus mi beta minus xi minus 1 plus m2 minus mi xi minus beta. This is same as my previous lecture of real analysis. Since it is given that the function is bounded, that means mod f of x less than equal to k. If mod f of x is less than equal to k, that means f of x lies between minus k and k. Since mi is less than equal to m1, so minus k less than equal to mi less than equal to k and we adding k in this inequality we have 0 less than equal to m1 minus mi less than equal to 2k. Similarly, we have 0 less than equal to m2 minus mi less than equal to 2k. Now, we have We have LP star LP star F minus LPF is equal to M1 minus MI. This value plus this value. And we already have M1 minus MI less than equal to 2K and M2 minus MI less than equal to 2K. That means this LP star F minus LPF is less than equal to 2K beta minus XI minus 1 plus 2K XI minus beta. Now this is 2K within bracket xi minus xi minus 1 and the value of xi minus xi minus 1 is mu which is the norm. That means we have lp star f minus lpf is less than equal to 2k mu. When, when p star has only one point more than p. Now assume that each additional point of p star is introduced one by one. Now repeating the above process p times we have lp star f minus lpf less than equal to 2k p mu. Repeating the above process p times means if we have a partition p and p star and the partition p star has one point more than p then we have this expression. If we repeat the above process p times that means now we have a partition P star and P and the partition P star has P number of points more than P. That means if a partition capital P has 100 number of points, then the partition P star has 100 plus P number of points. So we have LP star F minus LPF plus than equal to 2K P mu. So we have, sorry, we also know that the LPF is less than equal to LP star F. Combining these two expressions, we have LPF less than equal to LP star F less than equal to LPF plus 2K P mu. Now, it's a time for your homework and your homework is 
to prove the second part of the theorem that means upf greater than equal to up star f greater than equal to upf minus 2 pk mu thank you girls be safe stay home